Okay, I'm uh, going to do a little video here on my arsenal. If you go to any PA-airsoft.com or PA-airsoft.com, you come up to this link right here. And Keeper's Armory, this is what I currently have for sale. Um, and as you can see, the date is like 710 is updated because I just moved some of the stuff off here. <clears throat> Let's go with the sniper rifles to start with. They're all crap, okay? Uh, this Lancer Tactical looks like a 50 caliber. I cut the barrel off and I tried to put a better spring in it and all this other stuff. And it, I made a top dead center mod and it's fun to shoot, but it's not very consistent. And as a sniper rifle, you can buy a hell of a lot better rifles, uh, you know, for like under 100 bucks. Like 100 bucks. Uh, this uh, Super X sniper rifle with the ejecting shells, crap. You lose the shells, won't shoot piece of crap. The SAR-10, CO2 sniper rifle that shoots over 600 FPS. Can't use it anywhere. Okay, I tried all kind of things to make it shoot lower, wide bore barrel that would put out more gas and, you know, all kind of different things. And I did get it down to about 560, 570, but still, it was very inaccurate. Plus the CO2, it just drops it like nothing. Support guns, okay. Uh, my 50k HBA, Never selling that for a while. Same thing with the 30 caliber AEG. I bought them right off the bat. I don't want to sell them. Uh, they were my first airsoft. This was my first airsoft gun, and I think I'm going to keep it. Now, the minigun, uh, this uh, dual minigun is, or this is the micro gun. I'm sorry, my mistake. Micro gun. This had rotating barrels, but the mechanism didn't work, so I put a solid barrel on it. It's basically an M4 with some funky stuff on it. It'd be good for a... Uh, Maybe a cosplay or an apocalypse type thing. You could drape some camo netting on it and call it good. The uh, mini uh, little like gun here, it's an MP7 with rotating barrels and everything like that. I did put a box bag on it, but it still only shoots 250. And with the hop-up adjustment, the way he had the gun setting in there, it's upside down. So the BBs are going straight down. For like 20 feet away, 30 feet tops, it was okay. Emplacement guns. Uh, dual minigun. Basically, a dual MP7 sitting in this. So the two guns are independently. You can adjust the hop-ups, whatever. Barrels rotate, but it only shoots out in the middle. Uh, it has box mag underneath, big box for, like, setting up, turn the switches on, stuff like that. Be good if you had a tower set up and something that doesn't move. And it's run off 18-volt uh, built drill batteries, which I don't know what kind he put in there, but you might be able to replace it with something else. And the MG-08. This was a full-size replica that he made out of real wood and one-to-one -one scale to a World War II MG-08 liquid, liquid cooled machine gun. Very expensive. I spent a lot of money on it. I had a guy in England wanted to buy it, but it was just too expensive to try to ship it. M4 variants. <clears throat> I call this my rat gun because it was the original gun that I bought off a guy. He gave me a whole bunch of parts, a box. Put it all together, eventually you got a new gearbox for it, new barrel assembly, front end, whole nine yards. It actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to click on it. There's what it looks like now. Okay, with the stock, and I got two different stocks for it. That's one way I have the battery. I actually have a battery box on it. I'm a, I have it wired to the rear now. So that's just, just like how it uh, will work. Okay, let's see if I can figure out back. <coughs> this is a rat gun. This is the new rat gun <coughs> that I made up for the guy. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll scroll down a little bit. Basically, it's a, a Lan Lancer Tactical. I cut the barrel off. I put a short uh, barrel in there. Cut, I put a, cut it off, crowned it, put the little 11.1 battery in it, and I got the little VN-style mag to do, fit in there, and I put it in this, uh, like, drill holster. And I actually have a little uh, CQ mount, CQB mount on the top that you can put it on a sling. Be a great pistol for, like, say, um, maybe uh, I don't know, like a sniper. Now I have to do something here and go back. There we go. That was a rat gun. Now this one, it's an LPEG. This was bought. This was got from my uh, one buddy that passed away. Uh, I have it for looks. I think I'm going to hang it on the wall in the airsoft shed pretty good, pretty soon. He had one mag. It was taped, so it was upside down, and he ran with that for years. thing only shoots like about 250. So, 
And as you notice, the spot where it has electric guns, there are none anymore. I got, I just sold the last one. The a, the one last AEG by itself I had. Sold the MP5, I sold the Thompson too. AEPs. I at one time had like about five or six of these Simon, uh, like CM30s. And I, I just sold a shitload of them to, to various people. A lot of people on my team. Now, I did buy this Simon 130, CM136. This is an electric blowback. Okay. Um, it's not bad, but it takes a proprietary battery in the whole nine yards. Now, I do have another electric pistol, which is not on this uh, setting here. Uh, it shoots, and it's a, it takes a little battery. I got it fixed up. I really should put the picture up for it. Uh, I bought it for like 30 bucks. And it shoots about 175 FPS. But it was blowback at the time. And I actually put a tracer on it. It was funny. Now, the two MAC-10s. The JG MAC-10 works. I got a bunch of other parts of JG MAC-10s that I used to fix that one. But the TM MAC-10 does not work. It crapped out. Got a whole bunch of parts for it. And I want to show that one. I bought a stock for it, a front end, the whole nine yards. I did a lot of work on it. it the problem being is that it it's not the best. It don't work. So we're going to go back on this one. Um, so if I would sell the MAC-10, I'd sell the JG as the the one with all the parts, throw in the MAC-10, sell it all together. Launchers, I forgot to mark this off. They're gone. Okay, the only other one is KRR. It's a failed attempt at something. It never worked right. Excuse me. <clears throat> and the zonal launcher is on my pistol, so I have to edit this and get rid of this Mortars I already sold it to a guy. Now the gas guns. These are <coughs> all of them work. They're they're like various things happen to them. Now the Crossman M50 and the TF11 take the same mag, so I would like to sell them together because the mags are interchangeable. Uh, the Crossman M50s I have two. One's a single fire and one's a full auto fire. The TF-11 is semi or full auto. It's switchable. So I'd like to sell them together. All the wind guns are CO2, and they all take the same mags. I'd like to sell them as a bulk, too. The Tipman is a proprietary pistol that Tipman made, never makes any more. I actually got a second mag for it. It's CO2. If you ever break it, you throw it away because they don't make it anymore. Okay? Now, the KWA 19, 19, uh, 19, 1911. This is a big square block of metal. This was bought back in 2008. It's one of the original KW pistols. I have like two mags for it. It still works. Now the ASG uh, R357. This is a CO2 pistol, but it has, instead of a cylinder that rotates, this long bar, like under the pistol here, right, right here, holds 12 BBs. It's green gas, and it shoots like about 300 FPS. Now, Walter P38. Original Walter, got a couple of mags for it. Guy actually gave me another one that didn't work with some extra mags. And all Walter mags, no matter what you got, leaked. So these mags leak. You fix them. They're good for that day. Next time you go to use them, they're leaking. Crossman C41. These are not made anymore as an airsoft pistol. They make them as a, a BB pistol with steel BBs. But I have two Crossman pistols, each with a mag, that both work. Okay. Non blowback, they've got the top moves just for looks, <clears throat> but they're non blowback CO2. Uh, the KWA T33 and the Well T33. Interchangeable gas mags, um, work like a champ. I have holsters and everything for these. Uh, when you look at it, this is the holsters that I have for them. They're real uh, TT33 holsters. So I actually set them all up, and the mags are interchangeable. I got them in a box. I got a black one, and I got a tan one. Uh, the wind gun uh, M701 and the Dan Wesson revolver are CO2 revolvers. They both shoot extremely hot. Okay, you can't use them unless you do something radical to them. Now, there was a, a way to make shells for them that would make them shoot cooler, you know, lower. But they're just a pain in the ass to try to get. Now, there was supposed to be some kind of mod you could do on both of these to get them to shoot down below. But they're as a, a target pistol, that would be fantastic. As an airsoft pistol, not working. Uh, this Marushan, cop, uh, 
Larushin, COP 357. Okay, I'm going to bring this one up and show you. This one has a holster, and it's a four-shot pistol. You put four BBs in it, and it shoots four BBs at people. You never know what barrel's shooting. <coughs> Unless you know the last barrel that shot, it, it rotates clockwise, but you don't know where it's starting when it shoots again. So that was the only that was the only bad thing with it. I never knew what it was shooting, so you would always go center mass with the damn thing. Um, we've got uh, where are we at here? Uh, Jag shotgun. This is an HBA shotgun. I'm not selling this unless I absolutely can't do anything anymore. Same thing with these last three pistols: the HFC Long Slide and uh, the Hitman. Those are the ones I have tweaked out for open play. I run dual pistols. I have a fantastic time. The long slide is a tight bore barrel. Um, I could shoot that with a mag, and I mean, I that thing is just like a sniper rifle. I was getting 120, 150 feet with that. The the Hitman Special, okay, that actually was one that uh, I fixed up, put a top dead center mod on it. It's got the compensator on it. I run that with a drum mag. That thing shoots full auto. It's fantastic. Now, the guy uh, traded me a double bell here, and I made a top dead center mod, and I actually HPA tapped the mags, and I actually, it works with the other stuff as well <clears throat> that I have. I have an HPA drum mag, and I have HPA M4 mag, two of them. And this is my go-to stuff for when I am playing open plays. Uh, spring guns. Now, the shotgun, and uh, both of these shotguns basically shoot about 300 FPS, one has a stock, one doesn't have a stock. They're identical. Then I actually have this Uzi, which is also a spring shotgun or spring uh, pistol. I think I have a couple other spring pistols, but they're not listed on here because they either broke or fell apart. Now, we get to the CO2 mines. Basically, all these are crap. Okay? Um, the first four are crap. This Mad Bull CO2 shell is actually a... a, a Supposedly for an AK, it never worked right. And the Mad Bull foam rocket one never worked right. And any of these deep fires or PFI grenades don't work. And the S-Thunder 40 uh, millimeter grenades, they never worked right either. The only one on this whole list is this at Mad Bull 8 millimeter grenade. It still shoots like a champ. Okay. But it's eight millimeter BBs coming at you, and it really pops them out there. The next three things I want to show is these trip mines. They all work like a champ, but they take ram sets. They'd be good to be put on a door or something like that, and you open the door and it'll pop it out because it has a little slip pin that you can hook on a, a clip or around a doorknob or whatever, so that when they open it, it pulls the clip out and the ram set goes off. Very loud. You would actually want to have these instead of on the door, like if it's around, like. You know, put it down lower. You know, I had it up here around somebody's face, and people were complaining they could feel the pressure when it went off. So that's always something to have lower on the door and going off. You do not want to have something across the door like a trip line. Uh, you don't want people to fall and hurt themselves. I actually had a line there, and a guy tripped and fell for it, and he broke something on his gun. Was very upset with me. Now, <clears throat> the next one is this Chimera gas grenade. They, they This was a failed attempt by Chimera to make this grenade. And basically I had to oil it up and do all kind of funky stuff to it to get it to work right. It's basically the yellow top that you see there, which I will bring it up. This top had this little cord on it that you would hook to it, pull a pin out, and this would pop off with green gas. Uh, the thing of it is you would lose the top. So I actually put a little chain on it. It's hard to see in this picture, but... There's a little piece of chain on this uh, laying in the picture so that when it would pop, the chain and the pull pin would stay there all together. So when you threw it, it was all together. But it would make a hell of a good sound. It was a nice impact grenade. It was an impact grenade. It did work, but they don't make them anymore, so I don't know if it's even worth doing. Now, this spring grenade. I actually have two of these. I have the original Amazon one that I bought for like 25 bucks. And then they made a Lancer Tactical one that I bought for 25 bucks. So I have two that look identical. One is this orange and one is green. Now, this other spring grenade that I have here, this Impact version 2 and this, or this spring grenade here, it's crap. I bought extra parts, got it fixed. Very hard to use. 
It never worked cor correctly. It was very hard to load on the field. It was good if you had time to load it up, but you couldn't load it really quick. And the last thing on the list here is this spring impact grenade. It's just like these other two above it. The thing with this is I put a handle on it. I'm going to actually put the picture up here. I actually put this black handle on it. It used to end like right in the middle where the tape was. So I put this black handle on it, and I, I put the uh, pull pin on a, on a little chain so it's on the grenade. You'd pull the pin, throw it, you wouldn't lose the pin. But this, the whole thing with this is you put some BBs in here, and when it hits, the BBs come out, and they fly all over the place. They didn't fly all over the place. Usually they just dumped out. We call it as an area effect uh, type thing. Now, I do have a couple extra parts and stuff like that, that like if I sell certain M4s or other parts, I might just ship them off with it. But that's what we got right now, and that is the my Keeper's Armory that I got on here. Um, there are some other links on here if you guys want to look. Uh, this is our Facebook page. This is our Instagram. This is our squad page. This is our image gallery that we have. And here's two other teams that are actually, uh, that I host their web, web pages on. So hopefully you found this video informative. And if you have any questions about anything, leave me a message and I will try to answer it for you. Okay? Have a good day, right? I need an adult! I need an adult! <laughs>